Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary family. This is Ben. I have your verse for the day, and we're going to be in Matthew 14, verses 13 through 21. Jesus feeds the 5,000. Now, when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a desolate place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, We have only five loaves here and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said, A blessing. Then he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up twelve baskets full of the broken pieces left over. And those who ate were about five thousand men besides women and children. All right, the first thing, because I'm a numbers guy, uh, that stands out to me is the very end there. And those who ate were about five thousand men besides women and children. That is something that every time I have read this passage, I don't really cons- I don't really think of that number, um, but I did a little bit of math um, and some geography, and I looked up the uh, amount of people that live in the town of Sedona, which is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight, I think, um, and that that would have been around twelve to fifteen thousand people that were fed, so more than the town of Sedona, or one fourth of the town of the size of our town, which. It's just mind-blowing to me. Or a large concert. If you go to a large concert and arena, it's the same amount of people that he fed. It just, that's just a, just a fun fact for me. Um, but the thing that stood out to me the most is they need not go away. You give them something to eat. I, I couldn't imagine. I would, I would have looked at Jesus like probably the disciples did because they didn't give him something to eat. He took on the task. They must have just been confused like, This is all we have is five loaves and two fish. Um, It's impossible. And I'm sure Jesus was like, okay, you've been with me long enough. You've seen all that I can do and all that you can now do um, because of the power that's in you. Um, And I think he was testing their faith a little bit to say, okay, yeah, this is, you're a miracle working savior and we can, we can do this. And they weren't there yet. They, they still did not have the faith to, to take on the task that Jesus, in my opinion, was asking them to do. I don't think it was a snarky, sarcastic comment, you give them something to eat. I think he was literally testing their, their faith. And um, I, I take from it that uh, we, we sometimes put limits on God. For me, it's about 90% of the day. Um, if I'm being honest, and he is so ready to do things through us that are beyond our thinking or even what we think we're able to do. Uh, I'm not saying that you should take, uh, you know, a saltine cracker and a piece of salmon and go around thinking you feed everybody, but there are simple, ordinary tasks um, that seem impossible to us, like I, I can't approach that person about Jesus. I'm too shy or whatever it would be. And, and God wants, he wants you ready. He wants you to know that through my power, through my spirit, you can help somebody out. You can go speak to this person or you can speak to a large crowd, which some people have a great fear over. And uh, that's what I, I take away from this. Not so much the, the miracle of about 12 to 15,000 people being fed from five loaves and two fish. But what I took away from it is him asking the disciples, you give them something to eat. That's just awesome. And I just, I want to be able to uh, listen to to the Lord enough to know that here's what I would like for you to do, Ben. And I go, uh, that seems impossible, but I have enough of his strength and his spirit in me to go, I'm going to do it and I can do it because... Lord, you, you said I can. And so 
I hope that encourages you. You guys are more than able to go and do what God has called you to do. And I think this verse uh, or these verses tell us that. So I hope this has encouraged you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, Calvary.